Here we are today. This is a, a bottom round flat. It's um, a major cut. It's off the uh, hind quarter of a cow. And uh, the best things that you can get out of here, you can get a couple, you can get a whole bunch of things out of here. Um, with everything that's going on if, with um, COVID-19, my butcher's closed. I went to BJ's and I picked up some, some bigger pieces of meat. Everything is kind of going off the shelves. So one thing I don't want people to do is get nervous because it's, it's really easy to, I know it's intimidating to see something like this, but it is actually um, something that anybody can do. Um, <clears throat> most meat have uh, seams and things that you can follow. So I'm going to get into this and what we're going to do is these are going to be like um, cube steaks or uh, the type of sandwich steaks that you would have in this piece right here. Um, these are London broil steaks kind of down the middle. Uh, this is some 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 uh, stew meat over on this end, and there's going to be some other stew meat kind of in here that we're going to kind of cut those up. So you can use one big cut for a whole bunch of different things, uh, and this is really inexpensive. So if you have a family and you're looking to get them fed over the course of the next few weeks, and you want to have a couple different roasts, a couple different steaks, and um, you know some some stew meat and different things to to switch it up. This is a great way to do it. So I'm going to jump right in here. Uh, the first thing that I do is I kind of get, you don't want to, these are pretty lean. There's not a lot of marbling in these steaks uh, in, the, in this cut. I mean, so uh, what I want to do is kind of clean it up a little bit, but what I don't want to do is take a ton of meat off. So I am going to get rid of this kind of uh, sinewy stuff. And you want to have, you want to kind of cut away from you and then towards you and kind of pull the meat up so that you're not losing a ton of the uh, of the actual meat. Slide this under here. And if you're using your hands, you can kind of see like the silver skin right here. And I obviously want to get that piece off. Um, you know, have, have a nice sharp knife. I use a boning knife right now to kind of get into these, these little pieces. Uh, I have a scimitar. I'm not sure what you have for knives. Um, Try to keep your knives sharp. One of the things that's really important when you're when you're carving or you're cutting is that the sharper the knife, the less apt you are to get cut. And that seems kind of like, you know, uh, ridiculous. People are afraid of sharp knives. But uh, when it's a dull knife, you're really forcing um, and there's it's more apt to slip. So you're actually more apt to get cut and hurt if you're using a knife that is uh, dull as opposed to sharp. So um, do the best you can. Use the, the sharpest knives you can. Um, let me see. I'm going to keep going at this thing for a little bit and keep talking to you. But I am trying to get most of this nastiness off of here so that I can get at the actual lean meat underneath. And then we'll flip it over and we'll cut off some of that fat cap. Some of it you want to keep for the steaks. Some of it you don't. It doesn't have a lot of, like I said, marbling or really good, um, you know, meats. So... that joint sit. I'll switch this over so you can see this side right here. So you can see right here, there's a line, and I'm going to follow that line a little bit once I clean this up a bit. I'm just going to get some of this heavy duty stuff off. Anything that is kind of got a silver skin or is rough looking, I'm going to clean that off. This I want to keep really lean on this side. You can save this and grind it up if you have a grinder or you feel like you want to get at that. Go for it. You probably got time on your hands here at home. Let's do it up. So 
So we flip this back over. I'll show you the first steak I'm going to clean up here. All right. So like I said before, there's this kind of line. And once you're, you're really in here, you can see it. So I'm going to cut right along that seam. You don't have to be super fast with your cuts, but you do want to kind of follow the line and be direct with your cuts. Get rid of that. These are your these are your sandwich steaks or cube steaks. Um, as you can tell, there's a there's a pretty defined grain, and I'll show you. Let's clean this piece off. There's a really defined grain in here. You can see that kind of line on both sides. So these are going to be your these are going to be your sandwich steaks. You want to go really lean with these. This is a piece that you can use for um, stew meat, and then you want to kind of go in. I think it was Longfellow that said cut a broad swath through life. So you want to cut a broad swath through your steaks, kind of, you know, a fluid motion. You don't want to, you don't want to seesaw back and forth. You want to let the blade do the work for you and cut these really thin steaks. So these will fry up. Uh, what I usually do is I get a, a, a tenderizer and I hammer these down and those become even like, you know, flatter. Um, better steaks to to kind of cook with much more flavorful because they do have all of this the, they don't have a lot of fat and they do have a lot of that kind of graininess to them but they're still delicious steaks and this is the stuff you pick, you pick up in the store and it's probably like you know four or five dollars a pound and if you get a whole primal cut you can make your own steaks um, So that's pretty good. I mean, you can see how much I'm getting out of here for the whole family. You can probably get uh, two servings. I have uh, I have four people in my family. This is definitely at least two servings. Keep this piece for Chuck. Uh, and now I'm going to go back at this this larger piece. And what we're going to do is again clean this up a little bit more. Want to get underneath? This isn't like the good kind of fat that you want to have on top of a. Uh, a sirloin or a ribeye. This is kind of really uh, stringy gristle. And again, when you're cutting, you want to kind of cut across the grain. Um, once I cook the once I cook the roast, I'm going to cut across the grain. So I'm going to cut these into large roasts and hand and broil steaks. up a little bit more so here is some pieces I'm going to cut up for stew meat keep that over there here is again you can see that graininess of this cut um, so it's not the best for smoking in the you know the long smoke like you would do with a, a brisket even though uh, brisket kind of has that graininess to it too but brisket has a lot more marbling and fat involved in it uh, this will be a great roast when I uh, when I cook it on the uh, on the smoker. 
So I'm just going to season it really simply and then uh, let it cook for a while. So I'm going to cut these into about probably about a three, four pound roast. Um, I'll do the same on this side. Do two roasts and then I'll cut the rest into one of broil steaks. So these are my two roasts. These steaks, I would marinate them overnight. Again, a little a little tough, but once you cook them up, marinate them, and then if you're gonna slice them, slice across that grain. Those are your steaks. This is my final roast. Take your time. Obviously, I'm I'm going pretty fast because. Uh, you know, butchering meat is something that I'm more used to than, than you probably are. I don't want anybody to cut themselves. Uh, you don't want to like, you know, you want to keep as much meat as possible. So you want to kind of take your time and cut through. And it's a good opportunity to teach yourself. And that's it. So we've got some roasts, some steaks, some uh, sandwich steaks or cube steaks. Um, and then we have some stew meat. So all of the all of this came out of that one piece. There wasn't a ton of waste. I mean, we did have some fat, um, but it's all it's all worthwhile. I mean, how much would you pay for all this in a store? And you can do this at home and make your life so much easier. So try it out. Thank you.